I'm gonna be showing you a cool trick for how you can use GarageBand to create iPhone ringtones. Now, if you've never done this before, it's actually pretty sweet and it doesn't take too long to do. Now, you should have GarageBand already on your iPhone, but if you don't, probably takes like 10 seconds to install it. After that, you're gonna to wanna to click on it and then there's gonna be a few different options. But the one we're looking for is gonna be audio recorder. If it doesn't land on that one, just search for it and then you wanna tap on it. All right, so when you tap on it, you're gonna see this little squiggly line in the top left-hand corner, and then you're gonna to need to tap on that. It should be like the third one at the top. Then when you do that, you're gonna to need to now add a song. So you have to have some you know, songs already downloaded on your iPhone. You wanna click the little loop option right there, click on music, and then you know find a song you wanna use as a ringtone, and then drag it over. Now at this point, you do wanna make sure that it is working right, so you can press play. And then it should play the ringtone for you. If it doesn't, just try to like re-add the song by clicking that little loop icon. But you know, the cool thing here is that if you wanted to like cut it, you could cut the song up, you could shorten it. Um, you could even lengthen it if you wanted to, but you can kind of like, you know, customize a little bit right here. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you're gonna wanna save it. So there's a little down arrow, you need to tap that. And then we're almost there, we're getting to the end here. Then you wanna click on my songs. Now it's gonna save it for you, but it hasn't finished saving it for you. So you need to you know, hold down on it and then go all the way to the bottom where it says share. You're then gonna see the ringtone option. You can name your tone. I think I'm just gonna name this one fresh. So we'll go with fresh cause it's new fresh tone. And then when you're done naming it, you just wanna click export. Okay, so now it's gonna export it into your ringtones, and then we're gonna go look for it and make sure that it's saved. Uh, you could also just set it right there if you wanted to, but just kinda wanna go through this to make sure that it is in there. All right, and there it is fresh. Let's play it. Okay, guys, um, just a cool little trick. I mean, like I said, if you've never done this before, it is, it's pretty sweet if you're looking to you know, customize some of the tones on your iPhone. Okay, if you guys could also you know, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you in the next one.